guys so today's vlog is going to be another show vlog um i'm actually gonna try and get a little bit a little bit more this week because i know normally it's just like my test and that's it <laughs> but my parents are away uh, they're on a little holiday for my mum's birthday so my boyfriend's coming with me oh my lights are gone off <laughs> so that means i'll hopefully have a little bit more time i'll be able to film a bit more um so hopefully that'll go to plan um so i'm literally just out of work oh my hands like slid on my steering wheel there um, I'm just out of work, so basically I head straight from work up to Merino on a Friday. Um, I'll give him a quick lunge because we've got like loads of storms at the minute and I don't want him to explode. Um, so yeah, I have a quick lunge and then baths, plaited, hot clothed, mucked out, the whole thing, the whole shebang. But I'll talk you through that and I'm going to start rambling now or else I'm going to be up so late and it's going to be pitch black and I'll not even know what I'm cleaning. So yes, very quick intro for me, but I hope you enjoy the video. So this is a post grooming lunge. I thought we would uh, give my lunch because it's a storm today, as you can probably tell if you can hear me. So we just need to get some energy out because uh, this tomorrow might not be a good plan. and plaid him. So this will be very interesting and a very long night. Also just to let you guys know this is where I'm currently still lunging him. He's walking here. Like it is Baltic. But we're on to the other rain now. Just walking him, start him off. And then I have to go and get him ready. My boyfriend's sitting in the car, he's gonna be so annoyed that uh, I have to lunge him. But I would rather do this than get all the energy. Also if anyone wondering why I'm lunging a head collar and not a bridle, um it's just because, uh, uh, trapped on. It's just because I uh, put my bridle in the car to bring it home to clean it. I can't be bothered getting it back out. Um, for no real method of this, other than the fact that I am lazy. But he doesn't really care anyway, he goes just as well in either, so it's fine. So now that we are lunged, my hair looks crazy. Now that we are lunged and suitably de energised, he's just got a wee under rug on him just to keep him warm while I bath his legs, uh, bath? Clean his legs and his tail. Favourite shampoo ever, purple shampoo. Works wonders with him. Marino, look happy. Here he's forward. Oh, he's a handsome boy. So yes, yeah, so on to this next mix. He doesn't look very happy at all, but just for comparison, this is the after. I've cleaned his front two legs um, with the shampoo. And these are the back ones. I don't even know if the camera's picking it up, but they're literally brown. I haven't used the shampoo on them yet. I've just rinsed them. I haven't touched his heel. That's obviously disgusting. But yeah, look how clean those front two are compared to those back two. So you can see like a side by side. So now it's time for a quick groom and a hot towel. He gets like a, a little like skin cleanser and you can see the steam coming off. That's lovely and warm for him. But yeah, you get brushed first, obviously. And then hot towel and then your uh, cooler back on and then time to plait. Look at the steam coming off you. Just the face to go. And then stick your cooler on and then plait. Cooler is on his tail. I always put it in a little plait. Um, half because it keeps it clean, half because um, whenever it goes curly in the morning, I think it look, makes him look more like an Andalusian. His face, uh, we need to put the... <laughs> What's that face for? We need to put um, stain remover on his face because that's not coming off. Isn't it not, son? You're all right, pet. He's like, don't touch my hair. So we just need to plait now. Don't give me that face. Don't give me that face. Doesn't like being plaited. We are all plaited. Well, hold on. Right. <laughs> We're going to fix the eyes in a second. The forelock, I need my friend to do because I cannot do forelock plaits for the life of me. But we have these little plaits. Oh my God, it's so bad. Wait, let me turn the flash on. There we go. We can see we have better now. Um, ignore this. This is his little bald patch. And I know these are really chunky boys, but they'll have to do. They're... Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're not great. I'm not great at platin, but I come up in the morning to roll them. Um, I'll try and get more of that stain off his eye. Now. And then you'll get tied up so I can muck you out, wee son. Yeah, new bail in so you don't get stains on. And it's snowing, Marino. And it's snowing. I right, quickly get you mucked out quickly. Oh my God, the snow's all and everything. So that is his bed all made. Um, pretty much every Friday before a show or evening before a show, I put a new bale in it like this and take out all his old stuff um, so he doesn't get any stains. Look how shiny clean those legs are. 
um, all plaited in his rugs, um, all mucked out. That'll get rolled in the morning and everything. Can you see the snow? I'm trying not to put any number plates or houses in, but it's properly snowing. Tack is in the car, ready to get cleaned in the house. But yeah, like it's really snowing, like properly snowing. There's Rui, just living his best life. So yeah, time to run, empty this field barrow, put the shavings bag in the bin. Then clean all your stuff ready for the morrow, mister. Night night. Can you see this? This is actually crazy. You don't get snow in Northern Ireland. What is actually going on? Oh my God. And oh my God, look, it's actually lying on Olivia's wee car. Oh, right. Push folks away. You still all right, wee man? Of course you are. Right, time to run through this again. I just came home and um, I was cleaning my tack and getting everything ready for tomorrow and um, I didn't relax it's a bit boring but I did have this little uh, delivery that I came home to hold on let me just flip the camera and show you so I actually won a little giveaway from Traditions EQ um their little treat company I believe they've just started um everything's laminitis friendly which obviously with merino that's a really important thing for me I loved how cute this was they personalized it with the merino's name on it I just thought that was really lovely um, so we won a pack of original and seaweed hearts. They're all laminitis friendly, but still recommended to feed in moderation. Um, and this is my little, little packet. I opened them to have a nosy, so excuse me, I'm coming out. Um, seaweed and the ingredients and says not dog friendly and the original are dog friendly. Um, so I'm sure Marino will love these. I'm going to take some photos, um, to post on Instagram and things. Not obviously on my carpet. I'll <laughs> bring them up to the yard and do uh, some photos with my camera but I just thought that was a nice little surprise to come home to so thank you Traditions EQ for sending them out um I'll have a wee Instagram post coming up on these shortly and I'll let you know how Marino so likes it. So it is now the next morning uh competition morning um so <laughs> I woke up this morning um and our show had been postponed or well pushed back by two hours and um, because of the snow and we've just found out that it's actually been cancelled altogether it's just it's too snowy um, and you can't even see the dressage arena, <laughs> the venue put up a video and it's just not great conditions. But to make the morning better, I got a little delivery from Boot and Stirrup. I'm going to flip the camera in a second and show you. Um, so I'm going to show you this and I'm actually going to change the day into a bit of a like photo shoot type day. Um, just to take some photos in this, kindly sent by Boot and Stirrup and my treats sent by Traditions EQ. So I'm going to take some photos of those today. I thought just turn it around, put on a positive note. But yeah, our show is cancelled. After all that preparation last night, we're cancelled. We still have the final next week though, so hopefully I'll be able to vlog that. <laughs> so Boonstrap very kindly sent me this. It arrived this morning. As you can see, I've opened it just to make this bit a little bit easier. There we go. <laughs> so I got sent this little quarter zip. Where's the wee logo there? There we go. Now I am obsessed with boot and stirrup. I have my green um, quarter zip, which I'll insert the little photo of now. So as you can see, definitely bought from them before. Uh, <laughs> I promise I do actually like them. I'm not just saying this. Um, this has been very kindly sent out to me. This was gifted, um, but I am just so excited. I love it. It's so soft. I'm going to try it on in two wee seconds here and show you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take some photos in this and We'll see how those turn out. This is actually my first ever um gifted you know, item of clothing. So I'm just, I'm so buzzing. It feels like I'm really getting somewhere now. So this is actually probably going to be the most um unflattering angle of me ever. So let me just get the tag off first. That'll probably help, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> oh, there we go. So I've got grey leggings on because obviously I couldn't do blavy because that's... That's a crime. This you won't see this. This is just to keep me warm in the snow. So where are we? It's so lovely and soft on the inside as well. Oh, this is what I loved about my green one as well. I was like, oh, it's so cozy. Don't want to take it off. There we go. Get this zipped up. It's freezing. And there we go. I adore this. I love the navy. They're um all the colours are so like classy or something. There's the bottle green navy. Um, a plum colour and a very vibrant red, which I'm obsessed with actually. 
but this is this is gorgeous i really like this oh i'm all biz now i really like it um let me see if i can get a better angle in the mirror two wee seconds there we go flash on and everything there we go you can see a little bit better in the mirror our mirror is so dirty please excuse that but yeah i am obsessed with this going to go take some photos in it now Ooh, my hair's going crazy and everything all my show stuff ready to go how sad is that Baby, wait, I know that you're afraid, but it'll be okay if you just stay with me. We can run from here and we can disappear and they won't find us where we are going, dear. So baby, hold on to me, cause I know I can make you believe something that only we can see. Oh, so baby, hold on. didn't exactly go to plan did it <laughs> i'm currently sat um on my bedroom floor we've had storm eunice and storm frederick f something two storms um i actually went to work i'm filming this on monday so the vlog started on friday evening saturday's when the show got cancelled um yesterday which was sunday i went to work and then this happened So that was another storm uh, showing its ugly face. So then my job got cancelled, the show got cancelled um, and I just went home. So this vlog's kind of been a bit rubbish hasn't it? <laughs> Nothing really went to plan. Um, I'm currently sat on the floor learning my test for next week's dressage. Um, the, it's the league final next week um, and it's a new test obviously than the one I was learning. So I'm getting that learnt at the minute and hopefully I can practice that tomorrow night if the storm isn't too bad. Um, we've been doing really well in this league so I really hope it like does go to plan. I just really want it to work out really well for us. Um, what else did I have to fill you in on? Oh, this puffy hair, yellow hair vibe. Um, I'm getting my hair dyed on Monday, a uh, completely different colour. So I have to wash all of my like silverness out of it and I'm not using straighteners, I'm trying to keep it like healthy. So. We can excuse that as well and the uh, last thing excuse this shadow i've got like a wee um torchy thing in front of me because it's just so dark in my room right now like it's the weather really is horrible it's just so dark um so i'm trying to make this a little bit more presentable i don't even know if it's working but i hope it is <laughs> but yeah i'm really sorry this vlog didn't go to plan i actually had like really high hopes for this one but it just didn't just didn't happen um, but that is all for this week's vlog. I really do hope next week's one is a little bit better. I'm going to try my best. Um, but yeah, this is the end of this one. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next week for another video. Bye!